Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Partha Ati, a second in All India rank of 289 and 341. In this video, we'll talk about how to give a grand test and analyze grand test like a true champ. Grand test plays a significant role in any INICT, NEET PG or FMG journey. For convenience, we can divide a grand test preparation into three phases. One before the grand test, one during and one after the grand test. Let's just start with the phase before the grand test. We should be very clear why are we giving a grand test. A grand test helps us to understand a very detailed summary of our week areas or our week topics or week subjects. And it also helps us to bring up our exam giving ability. Now, when is the ideal time to start giving a grand test? It is advised in the last six months of your prep or when you are done about 50% of your subjects. Now, we should always plan to give a grand test rather than giving it randomly. Why? Because it helps to give a very goal directed study into the week prior and it helps to bring the discipline and the element of seriousness into the study, which is very important because if you're not prepared for this, we really get panicky and we get a lot of anxiety a week before the real exams. So we should start practicing performing under the pressure of seriousness, discipline and time. Always try to prioritize the bottom three subjects of your last grand test and try to keep them in the middle orders. And in the last few hours of the grand test, try to do the factual revision and the, go through their previous grand test mistakes. Now let's talk about during the grand test. I would suggest please go full throttle from the first question itself. You have to start practicing to be totally committed from the moment first question pops onto your screen. From first question to the last question, maintain the same attention span. Practice, practice, practice for this because this is going to be a very serious element in your scoring in your final exams. Also, don't be in a hurry to submit early. Rather, give time to properly attempt the grand test and don't overanalyze into, this, into the GTs. And because what happens is uh, there's a lot of bias in uh, solving one particular resources grand test because if you're solving their question bank, you are tend to perform better in their grand test. And if you're solving some cross platforms grand test, you are tend to perform a little less. So please don't get into that bias. Don't into get into that mindset that why am I scoring less than XYZ person? Just stay focused on your journey and be aware of this bias that exists into the environment. Okay. Now let's talk about after the grand test. So analyzing the grand test and managing stuck GT scores is a real big problem. And I know even in the early part of my prep, even I have been struggling to go through that. Let's just talk about this. Before even analyzing, you should be very clear that you are being open, honest and accepting your mistakes and your flaws, whatever that happens. A lot of times if you feel that uh, it is somehow it is not the exact reason, maybe I was not up to my mark into the exam or uh, I was distracted or this, this I would have done correct in the final exams. It's very difficult to accept that this was my mistake and I need to work on this. Okay. First you accept that there was a mistake done in any wrong question done. It was not by mistake. It was not by guess. It was not by anything because this is like the exam and you have to be careful of every mistake that you are doing. Okay. Now, now categorize your mistakes into five categories. One conceptual. If it's a conceptual, go back to the main video of that particular topic or the main notes and try to build on them, filter them, filter them and make a concise note of it and note it down into your final notes. Okay. Second factual error, factual error, make a note of it and revise daily. And in the last part of your prep, just give it a rapid revision. Okay. Third, analytical or silly mistakes. So there are no mistakes or silly mistakes. You just require more practice on that topic to avoid these things. Okay. Fourth, recall errors. So if there's a recall error, revise more. You have to revise again and again. There's no, there's no other way to it. Okay. You have to revise because we have humongous volatile subjects. Okay. We have to revise, make a list of the topics that you tend to forget quite frequently and make that handy list in, 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 in with you so that in the exams, you do it before the exams. Okay. And fifth, poor attention span. Uh, try to study in the cohort of two hours, three hours, slowly, slowly build up into the three and a half, four hours. So that during the entire exam, you're keeping your attention span at, the, at its peak. And uh, keep the overall analysis progress chart of with you. I would suggest that. And uh, try to go through that before your next GT you give and keep working on it. Also, before giving the final exam, go through that sheet, whatever mistakes that you used to do. And now to whatever the mistakes that you're doing in the recent most grand test, uh, just glance through it before going the final exams. And uh, trust me, it will help you a lot because these are the common mistakes that you do. And if you keep that in mind before solving the next questions, you are less likely to make the same mistakes again. Uh, until then, stay calm and keep enjoying and we'll uh, meet soon. See ya.